Good morning, Wakefield. Welcome to the 22nd edition of Wakefield Action Media. I'm Johnny. And I'm LG. Here are some things to know as hybrid students come back into the building. Freshmen this week, sophomore juniors and seniors next week. The most important thing is to remember your MacBook Airs and chargers every day. We'll figure everything else out. The building opens at 7.45 a.m. You can enter from one of three doors. You'll be pointing in the right direction when you get to school. Some things are going to change for everybody starting next Tuesday, March 16th. We need to have the same bell schedule. And in order for us to socially distance in school, we need an A and B lunch during our fourth and fifth period. Your fourth and fifth period teacher will let you know if you have A or B lunch next week. Speaking of lunches, here are teachers from the lunch labs with a message. Wakefield's lunch labs remain open virtually during your lunch period. Starting next week, whether you have A or B lunch, join us every Tuesday through Friday during your lunch to get help with your schoolwork. Math lab, science lab, and the right place are here to help you get Wakefield strong. Students, take advantage of the lunch lab now so you can relax over spring break at the end of the month. Attention Warriors, two juniors from Washington Liberty, Amina and Kimmy, started Students for Racial Equity last year. They want to help improve conditions within Arlington Public Schools with regards to racial equity, and they all want APS students to join their remind or fill out the Google form linked in the description if you're interested in joining them to gather stories and create opportunities for students of color in APS. The math department has a sweet reminder. This Sunday, March 14th, is National Pie Day. So celebrate this mathematical constant by eating a slice of pie. Check for pie day specials at local bakeries too. It is hoodie season, Warriors. With students coming back, Wakefield Action Media shows you five ways you can wear your hoodies. My hoodie is styled with a blazer and black pants for a mostly monochromatic look with the statement piece as a pop of color. I've accessorized with black boots, a wide brim hat, and simple earrings. This hoodie is styled with a denim jacket, black pants to match, some silver jewelry, and black bands. This is pretty casual and easy to recreate. So I'm going to wear a brown skirt and I have this black hoodie that I'm going to pair it with. You could really wear any color you want. You can mix and match. You can wear bold colors, neutral colors. It's really up to you in the style you're going for. So for this fit, I decided to go with white shoes and a white purse to accessorize it with as it really puts the outfit well together and really complements each other. So for my outfit, I went with a white turtleneck and a navy blue sweatshirt. And I feel like the colors just go together really well, but I'll put it on. And to complete my outfit, I decided to put on a pair of navy blue dress pants and a pair of white Converse. For the first touch, we will use the white hoodie. Second part of the fit is your jersey of choice. I don't care who you support, I don't care who you like, it's your choice, all right? For me personally, I'm gonna use navy blue pants to contrast the bright colors we're gonna have on top. And to finish the fit, we're gonna use the all white g Fazos. We hope we could give you some inspiration to try something new. Remember, stay safe and stay fresh, Warriors. That's it for this week. Tune in next Wednesday for another exciting edition.